the Conservatives, when it comes to uh, uh, dealing with public policy, uh, they've demonstrated one thing, and that is they're a very high-risk party. You want to talk about being reckless, Madam Speaker, all you need to do is take a look in terms of their attitudes towards uh, what are excellent programs. Think about it. The member says the Canada Infrastructure Bank, and he's critical of it. What will the Conservative Party do? They'll get rid of it completely. Think of the billions of dollars of... You know, and like a bunch of, I was about to say seals, Madam Speaker, but they, they were all clapping as, as one, uh, worshipping the fact that they want to get rid of the Canada Infrastructure Bank. Do they not realize what it is that the Canada uh, ba uh, Infrastructure Bank has delivered for Canadians in terms of jobs thus far, the billions of dollars in investment? My question is, can the member be very specific as to why it is the Conservative Party, in a reckless way, wants to get rid of the Canada uh, Infrastructure Bank? Explain that. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Speaker. I think my colleagues were inspired by references to Midas. They wanted to bring the Greek chorus phenomenon into, uh, into Parliament here. And I, I do welcome the, the affirmative, uh, affirmative uh, uh, lyrical support from my, my dear colleagues. Uh, the, the member across the way uh, is trying to characterize uh, our, our position on the infrastructure bank as if, as if you know, we just woke up this morning and decided, decided to do it. We are proposing to concur in a committee report, a committee report that was the result of extensive study, and the committee report uh, came out with a majority recommendation for the abolition of the Canada Infrastructure Bank. And I, I can only conclude, uh, if it was a majority of the committee, uh, that, that the NDP, e even their coalition partners in the NDP, uh, after hearing the evidence, agreed that uh, a bank which is losing money every year, hasn't completed a single project and has attracted no private sector investment, that sounds like an institution that's not working very well. 